expected to put his, his career on the line. That shows you the power of tabloids when it chooses to hold people who have done wrong to account, rather than going after people who really have done nothing wrong, but they've got an identity that you don't like for some reason. Whilst the tabloids have at times fought injustice on our behalf, the issue of race can also bring out the worst. I'm going to say this unequivocally. The tabloids in this country are racist. They have a pattern of racist coverage and have done for decades. Some people might not remember this, but when the poet Benjamin Zephaniah was being made a Cambridge Don, the Sun ran a story and it had a picture of Benjamin Zephaniah and the headline was simply, would you let this man near your daughter? I think that overt racism in the tabloids is, is for the large part a thing of the past. Uh, but the British tabloids have no sense uh, of unconscious bias. Uh, worse than that, um, they are opposed to anybody doing anything about it. In 2015, The Sun also published a shocking front page headline. One in five Brit Muslims sympathy for jihadis. As an editor, what would the editor's thinking be in running a story? Um, look, I think, I think um, uh, uh, you know, it is a decision taken in the moment without thinking about it. That's what, why unconscious racism is, is where it, that is what it's all about. And front pages, headlines are written in the moment and that's why they can, that's why Actually, you know, you can have a racist front page. After record complaints, the paper had to admit that the headline was misleading. The actual picture of Muslim life in this country, the fact that we have an integrated life, that we're part of your friendship circles, your workplaces, indeed part of your families, that is completely ignored in favour of a fear-mongering narrative. Nassim Ashraf lives in Oldham, where he runs a charity. In February 2017, it all came crashing down. My world blew apart, literally. I was one, on one stage community hero, and on the other side, I was enemy of the state. A number of newspapers published stories about a so-called Trojan horse plot to undermine a local primary school head teacher. Nassim was named in all of the reports and in the subsequent opinion columns. Islamic parents' violent scheme to oust school head must be stopped. According to an Oldham Council report, Ashraf held Islamic teaching sessions in the school. His wife told Asian staff members they should wear the veil and lobbied against sex education. This is important stuff. These people are attempting to discredit the head and change the ethos of the school. They must not succeed. Wow. The Islamic teaching sessions, as they call it, was an assembly. The deputy head at the time invited me to come and do an assembly on Hajj because he said it would resonate with the pupils as they were 98% Muslim. Read between the lines, what is the article actually saying? Beware of people like this, living on your doorstep, living in your neighborhood. Nassim had made complaints about standards at his children's school. The head teacher then made her own complaint about Nassim to the local council. This was leaked to the press. He says he was portrayed as having an extremist agenda. This is scary times where somebody publishes a report. Nobody cares whether it's true or not. They've made their opinion up. It, it's gone into the newspaper for God's sake. It must be true. That's how people feel. There were also allegations of violent threats towards the head teacher. Although some reports distanced Nassim and his wife from those. When the first article was published, the impact was immediate. The door was banging away. I was upstairs. It was about half past nine, quarter to ten in the morning. 
as soon as I switched on my phone, the text messages started to flood in. And my phone was just pinging away, ping, ping, ping. And the door was banging so hard. I really did think that I was being raided by the counter-terrorism unit. I really did think. They'd really caught me off guard. It was shocking. I was absolutely distraught. My daughter was looking out of the window. She was absolutely terrified. I think the first words that she said was, are they going to take daddy away? We were dropping the kids off early, bringing them home late or early because of the sheer amount of looks that we were getting uh, from other parents. Nassim sued six newspapers, including The Sun, The Mirror, The Mail Online and The Express. All of them settled out of court, apologised and paid damages. This is about money. This is about reputation. This is about an injustice. If they had done their investigations properly, it would never have happened. Coming up. For innocent individuals caught up in tabloid storms, the true story often gets lost. But when the sun targeted an entire community,